And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for a Lucian run in the Lab of Legends. We'll have a guide we'll walk through here for winning the Lab of Legends with Lucian. Uh, we have, uh, we're, we're going through, if you haven't seen just like this um, series, we're going through putting up a video of each one of the champions on um, up on YouTube. There's a playlist with all of them. It does show that I already have one win with Lucian, but that was from a long time ago, and I don't have like the the singular video to put up on uh, YouTube with uh, with Lucian. So we're gonna go ahead and go and run through Lucian again. We we've had to do a couple of the champions twice, but that's okay. All right, so a lot of different powers you can go ahead and select with Lucian. Um, Mana flow could be a good one, so you're able to cast your Lucian immediately on on round one. You get that extra mana out of the gates. Pretty cool one where you summon your two cost unit from your deck at the start of the game. So you could get Lucian at the very start of the game. That would be awesome. But you could also get War Chefs. And the last time that I tried out of the gates, I was just getting War Chefs every single round. Even though if you have out of the gates, you want to mulligan away your Lucians and you want to keep your War Chefs in your opening hand, right? So that to try to increase your odds. Uh, but that still can be a problem. And then it, when you're going through and getting new units, if you get any two cost unit you know you can't take any two cost units and all that kind of stuff so um that one but that's an option um another option is uh nature's revenge which gives you a sapling every single time you have the attack token and so those saplings can help protect lucian but then they'll also die each round and will help level lucian up that's a cool little option there too but the one that we're going with here is going to be evo lucian just because i think that just fits really well with lucian and uh, it's a great, great power. We used it with Pike. We used it with Rek'Sai. It really showed off how strong it is. So all of your allies have plus one, plus one for each keyword they have. Right now, Lucian has one keyword. It has Quick Attack. So Lucian will be a 4-3 whenever you play Lucian. It also works with, you know, your other um, allies, you know, your Senna, your Vanguard Cavalry. If you Prismatic Barrier or something, it'll get that plus one, plus one also. And so on. Um, but really where this, where Evolo evolution will get good is uh, whenever you go through your run you can add different keywords to your champions and you can continue to add keywords to Lucian and then Lucian will continue to grow and that should be pretty sweet all right so let's go ahead and try out evolution because then there's even like passive powers that say like all of your allies have overwhelm or all of your allies have fury normally you're like eh, all right everything has overwhelm but if you have evolution they all get plus one plus one in overwhelm and now you're talking all right, so we're going to go ahead and mulligan. I could keep Senna, but I'm just going to send them all back. I want to, I want to find Lucian. Cool. I'll still take one drop, two drop. New recruit reporting in. All right, no attack into the spiders. If only you could support block. <laughs> that is not a thing, though. Sentinels of light don't fear the dark. So as you see, Senna is a 5-3, because Senna has quick attack. So therefore, it has a keyword. Gets plus one, plus one. We want our war chefs to support the Scythria. So that we heal the Scythria that had already taken one damage. Now it's back to a 2-2. Two -two. Making the dead deader. Get an additional Senna in play. Okay. So fearsome, fearsome. Just block there. We'll take three. I think it's okay to take three. I think we should be able to get through Thresh, even with that three. Okay. So this is seven damage. We can make it eight, nine, ten. Alright, got through the spiders. 
Now we get our secondary champion. Whatever secondary champion we get, we want something with a good amount of keywords. Like a Sivir would be perfect. Sivir has quick attack and spell shield. Okay, Zoe has elusive. Soraka doesn't have a keyword. Ezreal has elusive also, but I think like we're we're pretty low to the ground and everything and attacking a bunch. I think Zoe works out really well here. So Zoe will be a one mana two two elusive. They can also make other things with keywords and stuff. Zoe should work out just fine. Yeah, Zoe's got some nice evolution uh, synergy. Yeah, you know, like we make like the four one with overwhelm. Now it's a five two with overwhelm. Plus. If you have leveled up, uh, do I want that sleepy trouble bubble? No. If we can level up Zoe, then like everything gets keywords, <laughs> you know, and then that's pretty crazy with evolution. Oro says we a Zoe deck now. Yeah, maybe. Zoe is the champion that just takes over. Right, like whenever you try. Um, when you try to, you know, when you start a run with another champion and if you do end up with Zoe, Zoe will just take over the run. Getting a power where like spells cost one less, for example, would be pretty nice now. Having your super cool star charts all cost one less and things like that. All right, so this will help protect Zoe and turn Zoe back into a 3-4. So gets the Zoe got the additional plus one plus one from being from having spell shield now. to play Prismatic Barrier, but I guess they're going kind of wide. Not so fast. Right, we're long ways away from level up, Zoe. The Serpent's pretty nice at being a 2-2 challenger, so they play another Mistrave. Oh, that's not Mistrave. <laughs> Basically taking the Crescent Strike because it's just a different card for leveling up Zoe. I should have discarded that Radiant Strike. I guess the Radiant Strike does help. So seven. I still need to play one more card, which is ideally what I want to do. I guess I could have, oh, I could have just challenged the mystery, I guess. All right, Lucian's gonna be that card. Can I just finish the game with stun single combat? Probably, I was more focused on doing this, because this is cooler.
because that's pretty cool. Okay. We will prismatic barrier or something. I don't know, you. This is two things dying to help Lucian. Yeah, we're just digging for lifesteal. There we go. Because I think I'm at 19 going into Thrash. Not a lot of life. Yeah, we were at the point of the game like where we weren't going to be taking any more damage. I was just doing cool stuff with Zoe. Leveling her up. Oh, man. So I think we just go plus two, plus two Zoe, right? Like, I guess we just turn into a Zoe deck now. Even though we're supposed to be a Lucian deck. Like, the Frozen Mallet on Zoe is not unreasonable, right? Have a three mana... Plus four, plus four, Zoe. But I think that I think Phage is better than Frozen Mallet just in general, because we could have plus two, plus two. So it's only we have to spend two more mana for another plus two, plus two, and I don't think that's worth it. So do we want to stay with the Lucian deck or turn into a Zoe deck? It's going to be Phage. I like Phage more than Twin Shadows. We could go like the cool route with going with Lucian, but the best thing to do is to put it on Zoe. We'll go with Lucian. It's not the best play, but oh well. Yes, yeah, I agree with Gamma. Phage is the obvious pick. The question is if we're okay with just turning it into a Zoe deck, or if we need to keep it a Lucian deck. That's the question. Okay, good hand. We'll have Lucian on two. Silverwing Vanguard gives you two 3-2 three, two challengers. That's important because they have like three threes and stuff like that, and two threes. And two challengers are two units to die to help Lucian out. That's true, but I, there's no reason to use a reroll there, though. But yeah, that's true. Getting getting extra keywords is great with evolution, but that's true. Normally, we would just want the extra keyword, but Don't get it we're not gonna me. we're not gonna use a reroll. Grand Inquisitor. Different, especially with evolution, your other passive powers are really important. You can get some amazing other passive powers. I think that's where we'll, we will use our rerolls if we have some lame passive powers. You're late. You're early. All right, so they should just block with the ephemerals, but you never know. Yep. Might as well attack. I'm gonna kill this Phantom Prankster. Alright, so we're gonna have leveled up Lucian <clears throat> with Senna dying. Sure, I could have kept them from drawing two cards, but I don't think that's that big a deal. Now they don't get the free four cost unit, and we don't take two damage either. I guess that hits pretty hard, 7 power quick attack. 
double attack sorry seven power double attack i guess that hits pretty hard so when it whenever you gain double attack looks like you lose quick attack for evolution round start refill your spell mana actually sounds pretty good with zoe right like if we're going to be making these super cool star charts it's not a very good power to go along with evolution it's a good power to go along with zoe with that so do we want sorcery or should we reroll and look for something that like gives all of our stuff keywords or round start rally or anything like that maybe we just reroll all right we're gonna reroll when you summon an ally granted challenger this round oh that is awesome with lucian all right we're gonna do that right because then we can even have just have like a bunch of stuff die with like with challenge for lucian but then again trifarian might's pretty good but we only have right now i guess senna is five power so both lucian and senna would kill stuff okay trifarian might trifarian might always good golden ages get some rallies We could have made this a really awesome Zoe deck, right? And I don't think our deck is necessarily better. Like, if, if we would have, you know, gave Zoe the plus two, plus two, and done refill your spell mana, right? We do those things. We're going to make a really awesome Zoe deck. And we'd still have our reroll. And then, that Golden Ages with Zoe's awesome. The Zoe's, of course, going to just die to the vulnerable at the beginning of the round. I was hoping to get grab one super cool star chart first. Not and ready. There's a chill here. Too damn soon. My arrow won't miss. I guess Trifarian Might's not too bad. I suppose. That's not too bad. <laughs> it is so satisfying, right? Playing Trefarian Might, just you play your unit and then their unit just disappears. It's just gone. Okay, you can only use Paddle Star to, to kill enemies. You cannot use it to, you know, kill our own thing to rally with Lucian. Strike hard, strike true. Now, where did that one run off to? In formation. I'll do my best. It still gets the block, Lucian. Okay, Trifarian Might with the solution is pretty sweet. Got your back. Still want to attack? Why not? Charge. I need stuff to die. We should still be at 30 life at the end of this, kind of no matter what. My shield is yours. Very good. I'm, I'm ready. So now we get the attack token again, but I guess we only have one power attacker. We're gonna stun that thing. Shoot this thing. This is mercy. Strike hard, strike true. Kill these. And I guess they're dead. <laughs> right. Alright, so far so good, Lucian. 
It's always like the most exciting thing of like, just what do we get? Because it could be anything. So repost with Spellbinder? Or a Frightened Ibex with Fury? So this, this Ibex having Fury means it's going to be a 2-3. Um, so we get a 1-mana 2-3. But Repost costing a lot less, like, you know, we, we're going to cast a good amount of spells. Our deck has a good amount of spells. So it's going to eventually be zero mana Repost. Bodies. I guess we already have, like, really good spells and stuff. I guess maybe we just need more bodies. I'll, I'll just take this Frightened Ibex. Whoa, okay, okay. So let's take the Frozen Mallet on the Zoe. So that now Zoe will have the Trifarian Might. And so, sure, Zoe will cost three, but now Zoe w with Trifarian Might will kill stuff. We just replace Zoe with a different one drop. I really like the design of of Sion. Sion? I like Sion quite a bit. I'm really glad how they designed the card. I don't think we need a second Zoe, because I don't think our first Zoe is dying. Um, basically, with Scion, I really like how um, Scion's not just a Noxus champion that simply uh, that simply is like Draven. That's just like a three mana champion that wants you to attack a bunch. Right? We've since the core set, we've only gotten um, we've gotten two new Noxus champions in Riven and LeBlanc. And they're, Riven and LeBlanc are just kind of like other Dravens. So I'm glad that we get a, a different Noxus champion that, uh, you know, does something completely different. So I'm excited about it. It's going to, you know, bring a, a new type of deck into the metagame. And that's all you want with new cards. Bring new types of decks into the metagame. Giga says, if you get another power that grants keywords... Oh, I should wait. I need... Because the Trifarian Might, right? Because I could kill that immediately. Sorry, I was kind of talking. My bad. If you get another power that grants keywords, even if it boosts units past 5 attack, unless they fixed it, it shouldn't proc Trifarian Might. The reason is the buff gets applied after the game checks for Trifarian Might. Items don't matter, though. They, It still triggers the Trifarian Might, as far as I've seen. I don't know if it's supposed to or not, but from what I've seen, it still triggers Trifarian Might. Not the best, or more most useful. I guess we'll just have you heal you. Like this charger should be should get Trifarian mighted, with it being a five power after overwhelm. Destruction feeds my fire. Stop, stop, stop. Go, face. I can't tell you if that's how it's supposed to happen, but I can tell you that's how it does happen. So is that what you're talking about there? What's up, Nate Dog? I mean, I don't know. I could like you know stun and fight and all that kind of stuff first. Could have put the barrier on one of these things to dealt one more point of damage to them to, to kill them. But I saved Lucian instead. Because this is a Lucian run. We gotta save Lucian. Okay, 
So that's number eight. Smell that bark beer. Number nine. Yeah, just just got done talking about that. Yeah, I enjoy the cards, the Scion, and the cards that were revealed today. I think that um, it's, a, it's a really nice design, and um, yeah, I think I think it's just good having something different for Noxus, and I think that could add just a completely new style of deck to the meta game, and that's pretty nice. So we're still at 30. Can't be any higher than 30. I'm not killing my opponent the absolute fastest, but we're still at 30. Head on over to... Uh, yeah, we're heading to Sedwani now. Ooh. Out of the way... I don't think we're really an out of the way deck, but well, no, because it doesn't. Out, that doesn't do barriers. We have a lot of barrier type stuff. It'd be like radiant strike, but that's not important. So blinding assault gives me a valor, but valor is going to be a four three because it's going to have um, scout and challenger. So so blinding assault gives me four three valor plus heal my nexus three. We're going to go ahead and take that. And then we can just give this, we give these things challenger. So these are two, four, three challenger quick attacks. Man, that's pretty good. But I kind of want to buff up my one drop. So we give this thing overwhelm. It'll be a one mana three, four. I think I like having some more one mana three, fours. Even though this is obviously really, really good. But I think at that point of the game, we're going to be doing just fine. Let's get some one mana three, fours. Okay, we gotta beat Sub 20 and then we get a new passive power. New very important passive power. So while I don't do anything on round one, this hand looks pretty great besides that. I guess we don't really need this Bright Steel Protector. And to be honest, I don't need the Golden Ages. We could keep the Golden Ages. But we don't need it. I mean, I like those two cards maybe more than these, but I mean, I guess Prismatic Barrier could be cool. Alright, so as always, Weirding Stones, very important to kill. Weirding Stones speeds them up a lot. You need to kill Weirding Stones. So, Lucian can kill Weirding Stones. That works out just fine. I guess if I would have made like the Silverwing Vanguard's four threes, then then if they're four threes, then all I have to do is have like one other thing to like you know, give them one more keyword, and then they're looking at being you know five powers and so two five power things with Trifarian Might. Our life total does reset after this game. This Zoe is pretty crazy. <laughs> Just three mana, but six six Zoe. Pain is nothing. That's a pretty crazy Zoe. I was hoping to get a stun card. That's what I was hoping to get. Uh. 
Oh, but then I get... I think that turns into a 7-8. Alright, we'll just do it this way. I guess things dying is good for Lucian. I refuse. also don't like them having things alive. Now these cards level up, so we... Alright, we'll take the win. Okay, we're heading on over to Piltover and Zon with Evo Lucian. Okay, Emo Lucian. So Emperor's Dice I don't care about, two Vanguard Lookouts I don't care about, and whenever your hand is empty, draw a card. That is one of the worst powers. So all terrible powers. Let's go ahead and re-roll. Spells cost one less is interesting. Sorcery, refill your spell mana. Also interesting. So those both help out Zoe, and as we've seen, we do have a lot of spells. We don't have like a lot of card draw. Like, we're gonna run out of cards anyway. We do have a lot of spells, though. Would I rather refill spell mana or have spells cost one less? Or just use my last reroll? I mean, we have lots and lots of spells. I think that's probably a good power, having one of these. I'm gonna go one less. I'm gonna go one less. No, refill. Okay. Man, another plus two, plus two for Lucian. But I guess you, I guess we'd rather have the keyword, right? So the keyword says, like, plus one, plus one and spell shield, or plus one, plus one and regeneration, or just simply plus two, plus two. Probably want to give one of the keywords. So I, we're putting it on Lucian, and I think it's going to be spell shield on Lucian. So, right? Because, uh, yeah, because we're worried about... So we're heading on over to Piltorin's on. We're worried about them using... Maybe it's just regen. Worry about them using like mystic shot type effects. So it's a 5 4, but quick attack makes it a 6 5. This is going to make it a 7 6. They're not really killing it with other stuff. Maybe it's just regen. I don't know. They're both. Both don't really matter. Alright, spell shield. I'm putting on Lucian because we're a Lucian deck, but yeah, putting on Zoe would be would be pretty nice also, but I'm not really expecting Zoe to ever die. Alright, so we did refill spell mana. So therefore, we can uh, Blinding Assault immediately, and it's going to be a 4-3, because it has gets plus one, plus one for Scout, plus one, plus one for Challenger. Bad Wolf, second month. Thank you, Bad Wolf. Okay. Still, we get that Professor Vaughn yip out of here. That's a big deal. Thanks for that continued support, Bad Wolf. I appreciate that. Grab that charger. But we're gonna have lots and lots of cards, right, with the foundry. Paint my 
Another Blinding Assault. Heal Nexus 3. Back to 30. Yeah, if, if we would have just gone for the Zoe deck completely at the beginning, we would have a ridiculous Zoe deck. If we had just gone for that. Because we could have had, like, refill your spell mana and spells cost one less. And, you know, that Zoe would be, like, a... It'd be, like, a one mana... Because we could have gave it, like, plus two, plus two, and plus two, plus two, and plus four, plus four, but co cost two more. I don't know. We could have had a ridiculous Zoe deck. <laughs> All right, so challenge, challenge. No room for doubt. Yeah, I probably should have played Senna first. I kind of forgot that I still had mana. All right, so that's two allies dying for Lucian. They made the Ballistic Bot, I think, with the Back Alley Bark Keep. We're able to take that down. Why don't they attack and kill stuff? I want that I wanted them to attack and me just block with like the 2-2 two -two and the and the 1-1. One -one. Yeah. No, 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 no. Oh, okay. Whew. Hold still. All right, that was close. We're gonna need more coffins. That was close. All right, we got level up Lucian. Evo Lucian. Our decks have worked out really well today. Actually, yeah, they just block over there, and so we don't actually get to... I should have just opened attack, I suppose. We don't actually get to have anything die and get more attacks with Lucian, but we do have single combat. Nope, single combat. There it is. Jay Minarda. They're going to, yeah, Sumpworks map, Jay Medarda. Draw a card. It's going to do five more damage to me. So we're going to start at 22 at best. Hopefully no puff caps. Good. Okay, so we're at 22 heading on over to the turrets now. Yeah, I'm not sure why the Victor's Ballistic Bots never use this spell. I don't know why they have them programmed like that, but yeah, that would definitely make Victor more difficult. They use the spell. Silverwing Vanguard that's free? Or give the Cavalry Challenger? I guess Silverwing Vanguard being free is pretty good. Yeah, we'll do that. You think I reroll? I don't know. There, there are three two challengers. So, you know, it costs four, but you get two, four, three challengers. I feel like that's pretty nice. Actually, I want 
Mental Barrier. I have nothing on round one. But we're gonna start coming in heavy round three. I brought my books. Hope that's all right. Hopefully we can survive till round three. Pretty good start. Okay, you could definitely see them like replacing a 1 1. Oh, they just have that. Hmm. What are they what are they gonna do? Yeah, so I play Zoe, I kill the 1-1, one, one, they play the new card. If I pass, will they play the new card, and then I play Zoe, and then it kills the 2-2? Two, two? Will they play the new card if I pass? They probably will, right? Okay, so they replaced the 2-2. Two, two. I definitely need them to not go to open attacks. Down to five. Man, this is gonna be close. There's just nothing to grab a super cool chart star chart that saves me right now. This is going to be really close. Alright. Silverwing Vanguard coming in clutch. What you looking for? Let's barrier one of them. I guess I don't attack with you. You can maybe get out of this, but you know, we're gonna have a really low life total heading into Victor. Can maybe get out of this. All right, they're down to fifteen. Oh, that's not good. That gives them an eight eight two because I haven't killed the Heimer. Or 9 9, I guess. Double stun? No. How close are you? 6 out of 6? 
All right, we're just gonna get some messengers to kind of just chump block and draw cards and keep us going. There we go. Lucian's good. I don't know why they passed at first. I, I guess this this block doesn't make any sense. Right, e. No, there's there isn't anything specific that you get for winning in the legendary lambs. We have overwhelm fury, so we're gonna go nine. Okay, good. They're running out of cards. We're down to just three cards left. This will also level up Zoe, and now everything gains Overwhelm, everything gains, gains Fury, so that's two keywords. With Evolution, they all get plus two, plus two. So that should help us out. Let's take that Elusive. Obviously, I should have my, my Illusion at the end. But that's okay. We're gonna need more coffins. Yeah, I could fish for lifesteal, but yeah, that'd be pretty risky, but yeah, I could just have, like, only my Zoe hit and look for, uh, you know, look for the Golden Sisters with leveled up Zoe hitting. This just isn't that great of a power for the Blinding Assault. I mean, I like having more Blinding Assaults because they do heal my Nexus, but it's just not that useful of a power considering we already have, we get free spell man every single round. So I'm going to go ahead and re-roll... Because we can run out of cards, for sure. I'm thinking... Yeah, maybe we just have to get another copy of Valor. Because we're at five. Okay. Yeah, maybe we just need another copy of Valor. Alright, so we used our reroll. Still got the same thing. They gave it back to us. They're like, are you sure? You know, maybe taking the draw one with the single combat. Alright, well, this is a hand. We got the Valor, we got our champs, we got a one drop to help block immediately. pass here. Yeah. I mean, just keep my 3-4 to block the 3-5, but I just it's just not worth throwing away Valor. Because I just play Lucian and this thing dies anyway. I didn't need to throw away Valor right there. Um... I'll wait on you for next round to have Zoe in play also. Alright, so we attacked there. Got four damage in. That's... I don't think I've ever seen them go this route. Alright, Zoe kill that. Bring the heat. And that's gonna be a round three kill? Wow, round three kill on Victor. Man, this was looking bad for a little bit, but our deck was too strong. Round three Victor kill. That'll do it. GG's. All right, Evolution. And yeah, I think I think if we would have gone all in on the Zoe, we would have had a better deck, but I like that we got to grow that Lucian quite a bit because this Lucian was huge you know 5-4 and then you know plus the two keywords having the spell shield and the quick attack pretty cool our Zoe was still pretty big as well <laughs> getting the frozen mallet um yeah there we go the free vanguards was really important for for getting back in that but good powers wasn't like the best run ever at the end um, and we didn't really, we didn't have the best evolution run, right? With evolution, you really want to have cards that, you know, like these other ones that say like all of your units gain fury, all your units gain overwhelm, like that kind of stuff. 
Trifarian Might's amazing, but you know we kind of wanted that more than Sorcery, but uh, ended up with Sorcery. Still, good run. Good run. All right, so there we go. There's Lucian. There's a Lucian guide for Legendary Difficulty. Uh, those y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button and feel free to leave those comments. Let me know what you would have done with the, the Zoe or, um, you know, we've got any of the, the other champions, like whichever ones you want to see up next, because I'm going to have to work on getting them up to legendary difficulty of the champions that we haven't done it yet. Feel free to let me know. But of course, there's the playlist. I think we've gone through, I think, 14 champions now. Yeah, I think I think 14 champions now. I think there's six more to go. So those are all up on YouTube. All right, but that's going to be it here for the Lab of Legends with Lucian. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.